What is going on everybody, Estas here. Welcome back to another video. So in this video, we're going to be talking about an overall market update, looking at the Dow Jones, the S&P 500, and the NASDAQ. And we're also going to be talking about one trade that I made today, the 14th of December, in the stock market. But before we do talk about these topics, guys, for all you new viewers out there watching me for the first time, my name is Stas, and I make videos dealing with swing trading, day trading, long-term investing, and my personal philosophies and strategies when it comes down to investing and trading in the stock market. So for those of you guys that want to learn more about that, feel free to drop a like, leave a comment, and subscribe, and follow me on Instagram as well as on Twitter, and join our Discord group chat as well as our Facebook group. All of those are linked down below in the description box. And if you guys want to be in contact with me and about 350 other investors and traders, join our Discord group chat, guys. We're talking on a day-to-day -day basis about trading investing stocks news strategies and just helping each other grow and become you know the best possible traders and investors that we can so again all of those are linked down below in the description box if you guys want to be in touch and let's get started with today's video so very bloody day today overall in the stock market guys we were down 500 points at the close on the Dow Jones down about two percent the S&P closed down about 50 points and, uh, you know, the uh, NASDAQ is down about 155 points as of right now. So for those of you all that watched my video yesterday, I was talking about a critical resistance that the Dow Jones and the S&P were at. And we can see that today, guys, they got rejected pretty hard by that resistance. And we can see why, you know, I pretty much thought this was going to happen based off of the technicals that we saw yesterday's video and heading into the morning today. So let's take a quicker look here, a closer look at the Dow Jones and talk about what I'm talking about here in terms of this resistance. So were you guys, do you guys remember in yesterday's video, I was talking about how the Dow was being rejected by this 20 or this 50 SMA rather on the 20 day, one hour chart. Well, it got rejected even harder today and we pushed down making a lower low on the 184 hour chart in terms of the overall Dow Jones, right? We were hovering by the support level yesterday at about 24,500 and now we clearly got rejected by that SMA and now we're pushing down to a lower low, continuing this lower low, uh, you know, lower high pattern that the Dow Jones is in, right? We were talking about how the next spot it's going to potentially is the bottom support part, uh, you know, of this trend line right here, which would be be right at around $24,000 where we're almost at right now. So, you know, according to my technical analysis yesterday and my personal prediction, you know, the markets came out uh, and, and they played pretty much according to what I thought. And, you know, I said in yesterday's video that we could have a bloody Friday because, again, we were getting rejected by that SMA indicator. And typically, guys, you know, after a couple of green days, you know, in the state of the market that we've been in, I've been noticing a pattern that after a couple of green days in a row, we tend to have a day where we dump a ton. And, you know, we had a couple of green days in the past couple of days, right? The Dow and the S&P, the NASDAQ were up about three, four straight days in a row. And we were getting rejected by that SMA very slowly yesterday, like I told you guys. And uh, pretty much after that third, fourth green day, we had that dump off day today, a bunch of profit taking. And this is something that happens, you know, on Fridays from time to time. And today was one of those days. So, uh, you know, on a technical basis, guys, not looking too good right here. We could potentially have another red day, maybe Monday, Tuesday, getting closer to the bottom of this channel. And then again, expect some pushback days up. In my personal opinion, you know, we might have, like I said, another couple of red days to get down here potentially, right? And then we could have a couple of green days in a row at that point to get back up a little bit, push up some more, you know, gain some buying power, uh, you know, in terms of the stock market. It. And then, you know, we'll play it by ear in terms of that point in time. But, you know, right now, guys, down 500 points, 2%, uh, you know, pretty bloody day in terms of the Dow Jones. And now if we look, at, if we look over here at the S&P 500, guys, we finally broke below a very key support level at about 2630, 2640 in the S&P 500. We've been talking about this in previous videos, how the S&P was trading, has been trading in a horizontal pattern. 
pattern with a resistance at about 2800 and a support at about 2630 and now that we notice it broke pretty much you know very strongly beneath it now it's at about 2600 this just uh continued the lower low uh continued the correction continued the downwards trending pattern for the s p because again guys technically when we were in this horizontal channel you know we weren't breaking below the support meaning that we were kind of consolidating and not really in a downwards trending channel quite yet but the fact that we broke below that now it's i think it's just going to be a lot of more uh, red coming and uh, that's just what the technicals are telling me based off of the S&P 500 but you know just like the Dow Jones guys if we take a look at the 20 SMA or the 20 day I don't know why I keep saying 20 SMA I don't know why <laughs> but uh, what was I going to say if we look at the 20 day chart not 20 SMA 20 day chart and we look at the 50 SMA very similar to the Dow Jones right the Dow Jones got rejected here yesterday about midway through the market and all of today right and that's exactly what ended up happening to the s p you know we got rejected today very hard and we pushed down pretty much all day for a two percent loss in the s p 500 and now if we take a look at the uh, nasdaq guys again this is a nasdaq future so if it's still moving right now that is why but we can see Let's see where we closed off today actually on the NASDAQ. So let's go to a closer chart for this five day, five minutes. So again, you know, obviously the NASDAQ took a tank today. It's down 150 points, a little bit down more. Uh, it's a little more down than the other two. It's down about 2.3%, but we pretty much opened up the day here, 930 at about 6,700 and got rejected hard by that 180 uh, simple moving average. And we lost 150 points from here to where we are right now, right? And in terms of the da uh, the NASDAQ guys, we've been talking about this in every single video, how the resistance point was at that 180 SMA on the 180 chart. We got rejected here, here, you know, we popped up a little bit, but then we got pushed back down below, bounced above the support. We popped up here, tried to break above it again, but we officially got rejected a couple of days ago. And this huge red day that we saw today is pushing it even closer to that support. So keep an eye on this um, NASDAQ future the nasdaq index and keep an eye on this support right here let's say we do get a triple bottom here meaning that we bottomed off here once here at the same time and then here a third time this one could potentially curl back up here and maybe and you know test that 180 simple moving average again so keep an eye on that guys and you know we always look at the markets pre-market hours after market hours we do our analysis to figure out what we're going to be trading the next day right what what i traded today really was due to the technicals and the market research i put in yesterday in pre-market hours today in terms of these indexes, right? I realized we were getting rejected by that 20 SMA on the bigger uh, 2020, uh, I keep saying 20 SMA, oh my God, on the 50 SMA on the 20 day chart, right? And that is what indicated that I should trade what I traded today. And we're going to get into that right now. So what did I trade today, guys? I'm sure you guys can already guess. It was TVIX. And TVIX is a market ETF that goes up in price when the overall market's are selling off. So obviously, S&P down 2%, Dow down 2%, NASDAQ down 2.5%. TVIX had a pretty good day, right? Because this one moves up. I think it's 2x according to uh, its underlying asset that it follows, and that is the S&P 500. I'm pretty positive and pretty sure about that. So, you know, if we look over here to the S&P, again, down 2%, and that correlated here over to the TVIX ETF, an 8% move. So 8% move today. I was able to capture about 3% of this. I ended up selling off at about $53.44. It was at about almost about noon Eastern Standard Time. I pretty much sold off here due to it pushing up to another higher high. And I just wanted to take my profits because I was already up about 3 4%. But let's talk about the entry point here. So we noticed we sold off a little bit. We popped up, got rejected by that resistance point right here. Let me draw it out for you guys very quickly. Right, we got rejected here by that resistance. We pulled back double bottom here at a new higher low from the previous low so that's a very good sign that we could be reversing here and then once we broke above this uh 50 sma here i ended up taking a little position at about 51 dollars. i believe it was about 60 cents 
We popped up here, pulled back, held above here again, ended up adding more money on this bounce here. And again, I took my profits at about $53. I believe it was like 45 cents to be exact. And my average position, again, I got in at 51.60 ish, right? Got in again at about 51.80, 51.90. So my average position was around $51.75. So from there up to where I told you guys 53.40 ish, right? That was about a 3.2, 3.3% trade for the day. And that is pretty much when I ended up being done trading today. And for all you guys that have been following me for a while, my daily goal is about 3% to 5%. So anything in that range, I'm very happy with. And the fact that I hit it in one trade, well, technically two trades because I scaled into this one twice, you know, that makes me very happy. And I got done trading for the day at about noon today. So a lot of other people in the group were actually trading. I believe it was DGAS. DGAS had a fantastic day today. Natural gas plummeted. Oh my goodness, actually. I didn't really see it. Holy crap. It's at 378 right now. Last time I actually checked this chart, it was at about 390. And that was a couple hours ago. So the fact that we're all the way down to 380 right now, guys. Natural gas is falling just as quick as it came up. And I think DGAS must be in the 80s right now. Oh my God, it's 78.69. So we had a 23% day to day in terms of DGAS. So shout out to anybody out there that was able to hop on this move. Again, I didn't trade DGAS today. I was trading TVIX and was pretty much away from my computer after noon uh, Eastern Standard Time today. So I wasn't really able to catch any other moves. But again, for all you guys that did catch this one potentially shout out to you very very solid move 23 percent day wow guys wow so you know this next week guys i'm going to be watching this pair very closely d gas you guys because i caught some of the d gas upswing a couple of weeks ago but i haven't really been trading in and out of d gas and you guys because i feel like the overall markets right now have been more predictable from my uh from my perspective, right? You know, the technicals that I've been doing on the markets have been working more, in my personal opinion, for me than the technicals on DGAS and UGAS. I've been having a little bit more success with trading the market ETS because again, the market has been super volatile and it's kind of been not really predictable because we can't predict the market, but I feel like it's been uh easier to um you know capture moves from the market rather than, you know, these natural gas ETFs that have been actually pretty unpredictable, to be completely honest with you guys. And I'm sure a bunch of you out there can relate to this as well. So DGAS was traded a bunch. Again, shout out to anybody out there that was able to trade uh, DGAS. These gold futures ended up double topping here, like I called out a couple of videos ago. So whoever was able to trade JDST, shout out to you as well. We were talking about this in a couple of videos, how uh, a couple of videos ago, how gold futures topped off here at about 1250 another top here at about 1250 again right this is a double top meaning that this could be a resistance and we could be heading back down right and you know once we were able to fail to get there again for the third time and we started to push back down that was a pretty good reversal uh pattern in terms of gold futures and now that we do see a little bit of consolidation right at this previous resistance which again when a previous resistance is broken above right it becomes a new support so now that we see some you know resist uh, support here you know this could be a good opportunity to hop into jnug but we have to wait and see if we reverse here and start to push back up in price before looking at jnug and jdst in my personal opinion and if we do break this guys you know break below the uh, support and start Start to head back down that could be another play for jdst so keeping an eye on those two a lot of people had success today with dwt this one actually had a very good day 10% and I was talking about this in yesterday's video as well. So crude oil took a huge hit from $76 all the way down to $52 over the past couple of months. Biggest loss it's seen in years on top of years and we've seen a strong consolidation in uh, crude oil over the past couple of trading weeks and we can see that right here and then we'll get into why I thought D DWT was going to be a great trade today and what ended up happening. So yesterday guys we were talking about how DWT actually how crude oil itself 
was at a resistance point. So we can see it here on the 20 day one hour that it was here yesterday, right? We can see that 12, 13, 18, that was yesterday, 2 p.m. We were at that 52, 80, 53 dollar resistance point, and we pretty much double top there again. And the fact that we started to push back down in price this morning, that is what really caused DWT to have a fantastic day today. And the fact that it's holding above this support now, keep an eye on UWT next week on Monday. This is going to be a very good play in my personal opinion, and I'm really heavily considering trading it based on what we're going to be seeing on Sunday and obviously pre-market hours. But based off this chart, guys, this $50 range, this $50, $51 range for crude oil is such a strong support. You know, it's bounced here so many times. So keep an eye on this. We could potentially head back from 51, you know, all the way back up to 53, which is that resistance. And obviously that's most likely going to swing UWT about 10% to the upside. So keep an eye on that one. And, you know, that's pretty much it for today's video. I'm not going to go into too many stocks because I'm saving that for Sunday. Sunday's video. So keep an eye on Sunday's video on the top couple of stocks and ETFs that I'm going to be watching for the third week of December. And also tomorrow morning, 10 a.m. Eastern Standard Time, a video is coming out on why you should be investing as soon as possible in your teenage years, in your early 20s, pretty much as soon as possible. I'm going to give you guys a couple of reasons why you should be investing long term in the stock market. So be in touch, be in tuned for that video. I'll catch you guys in tomorrow's video and I'll see you guys on Sunday as well. Peace out. Have a great weekend. I hope you all had a great trading week. Again, thanks for all the support, all the love in the comment section and the Discord group chat. I truly, truly appreciate it. I'll see you guys. Have a great one.